Any seed can take down a mountain. The seed can blow in on a breeze and find its resting spot in a little crack in the rock of a monolith, a mountain composed of one giant rock. One rock. But a seed can find its way into a crack in that rock and find a little water and find a little accumulated dust and find just enough to put in some roots and send some shoots up toward the light and get some free food. Courtesy of our friend old Saul, the one who feeds us all. We are all fed by the sun. But my tree grows a little bit every day, a little more every week, a little more every month, and at the end of the year, I'm a sturdy little sapling clinging to the side of this rock, and my roots have found more little cracks to worm their way into, and have found more moisture, not even direct moisture, but just the product of efflorescence, the water that is seeping through the rock through oversaturation, finds enough food to grow a little more every day, a little more every day. At the end of the second year, I'm a respectable tree. At the end of ten years, I'm a big tree. And I'm throwing off seeds of my own. My roots are deep into the rock now. I am breaking that rock apart with my roots. And you can just picture the roots of a tree rip like a fist into that rock and burst it away find new cracks, make the old cracks bigger, in making the old cracks bigger, create new fissures that create new cracks, new places for roots to grow, and I'm old enough to spread seeds of my own, and so my children are generation by generation, they're infesting the side of this mountain and finding their own cracks and their own crevices and finding their own way to burrow through the rock. And find their destiny and me and my children year after year generation after generation in very short order we can turn that giant monolith that giant rock we can take it and turn it into rubble turn it into our food our future our destiny